The time is now. The place is New York City. The reprise is COVID-19. City streets, once hollowed by death, flight, shelter, and illness, bustle again under the auspices of capitalist accumulation through ableist means. Subject to the bustle are the wicked, the wealthy, the disabled and sick, the oppressed, the thieving, the generous, the exhausted, and the unnamed. With these peopled conditions present, let's zoom closer to meet a curious character of hurting history, laughable logic, and reasonless reason. Claudia, the invalid oracle, a soft-spoken and nervous soothsayer, portends only the future of now. So adjust your screens and raise your filters to awareness as we disembark for an invalid journey with masks on. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. Uh, hi, hi. Um, this is this is Claudia. Um, I, I'm so happy to be here. I, I know the last time we met, I said I didn't know if we were on YouTube or, or Black Planet, but uh, I, I guess here we are here for the culture. We're at a hub. So today, um, I wanted to give a little reading about the times. Uh, I don't exactly know what time it is. It's quite dark where I am, okay? It's been dark for weeks and no one is turning on the lights. Um, but, you know, I, 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 have, I have a hammer, okay? And I have a cat toy. So we're gonna make something of it. And I, I think maybe uh, we should talk about uh, the periodic table of elements. Okay, so I know science is like really scary and hard. A lot of people failed that class. I failed it too several times, but I don't stop trying because <laughs> spirit, spirit is still showing up in really unusual ways. And um, so I, I, I still have the dice, but this time the numbers mean something. Okay, so we're going to roll the dice and then I guess get a reading. Okay. Oh, oh, <laughs> we've, we've got a three. Oh, three for L-I. Wow, we're back to the lies. I thought we let that go on the last episode, but I guess we're still, we're still, we're still talking about allyship, I suppose. Okay, um, let me pick another number. Two, he, they say that's for helium, but I think it's for a man. And honestly, we should do less of that. I don't really. The last time a man talked to me, it got weird. And it didn't have to be weird. He just, he was going through a lot of things. And so I said to him, you know, you can, you can just stop going through the things. You can stop being yourself. And he said, absolutely not. I am he. And how can I argue with that logic? So um, let's see another number. 70. Oh, I haven't gotten this far yet. Oh, darn. Oh, this is a problem. There is, oh, where did it go? Why be? Why be? That's a very, very intense existential question. I suppose, I suppose why can be for me and why can be for be? And being is the center of all fruit. No, that's not how that goes. How does it go? Being is the center of I don't actually think that's a, a, a quote. I'm making something up. Oh God, this is very uncomfortable. Let me roll them again. Okay, um, 20. Oh, 20. C-A. You know, last time I saw a dog. 
And we talked about dogs once. They said you could have four pit bulls. And I don't have four because I don't have enough money for that. But um, what can you see? You can see a sunset. You can see a war. You can see propaganda right in front of you and won't even call it that. He called it the news, but <laughs> I know better than to read that garbage. Hmm. Well, I'm going to do one more. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. Eight. Oh. Eights were uh oh. <laughs> That's so funny because. Because, as you can see, I have these masks in a plastic bag. It's almost as if there's something going on where you'd have to wear a mask, but the mandates say otherwise. <laughs> so I follow those, but I know how air works. You breathe it. And I also know that air is shared. So if someone puts one thing in the air, we're all subject to it. But I mean, I don't, God, I really, I really don't know. Well, listen, this is still a terribly underfunded program. And I really, I don't even have my music. Like the last time I had a little bit of music, but today we're just sitting in silence and <laughs> that's awkward. Uh, but listen. Okay, now that I'm here in the culture, I'm really going to start giving better readings. I can't guarantee it, but I aspire. And y'all all say that aspiration is inspiration. And I think that brings us back to O. O, oxygen. Fascinating. Okay, um...